welcome to Spiritual Dialogues with Father Udon de Castro. We are here at Cariana Lay Monasti Community. I'm your host, Brother Lodi, and with us, Sister Tachi. Yes, Father, we were discussing last time about uh, you know that gospel and where there was an example of Noah and Lot, Father. Did you want to continue on that? We were discussing in general mm -hmm. the events that are, that are going right now in the United States. Mm -hmm. And we mentioned the fact that this is the case of uh, Cardinal Bishop Makarik. And we mentioned the fact that we would like to concentrate on the good aspect of what is happening in the United States and try to leave behind the unchristian aspect of condemning the poor bishop and, uh, and criticizing him and so forth and so on. And we mentioned the fact that the Catholic Bishops Conference in America is reacting wrongly mm -hmm. towards the scandal that is going on because they want to expose all the sins of the bishops and all the sins of the cardinals in the United States, which we are not supposed to do at all. Mm -hmm. That is going against the very concept of the zeal of confession. So we're going to put that aside because that is the wrong way of reacting towards a problem. And we would like to concentrate just on the sin and how to correct the sin committed by the cardinal bishop. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're going to base it on the liturgy of the Mass, based on the on Wednesday of the 32nd weekday of the year. That will be our basis. No? Okay, Father. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we mentioned the fact that the liturgy mentioned the example of uh, Noah and mm -hmm. Lot. Now, on All Saints Day, the liturgy reminded us of what you call the day of great distress. Mm -hmm. Which is happening now. Which is happening now. Yes. This day of great distress is supposed to be a time when great saints will be produced by the Catholic Church. And these are the ones who would be going to heaven and make up All Saints Day. Mm -hmm. These are the survivors. The liturgy says, the survivors of the day of great distress. Mm -hmm. Now, this day of great distress mentioned in All Saints Day is a day that is being awaited by all the Catholics from the beginning of time. Mm -hmm. Just the beginning of the Catholic faith. And in fact, the entire monastic movement is precisely to prepare for this day of great distress. Mm -hmm. Because this day of great distress is the time when God is going to give mankind his last test. Mm -hmm. And when God gives us this last test, he will allow the devil to have extraordinary power in order to tempt man. Mm -hmm. That would be the test for all mankind. All mankind. And it's a great test. Yes. Because God would allow. God would allow. The devil cannot do it by his own. Mm -hmm. That's why, is it why it's so distressing? It is distressing because you're going to have the devil as your oh. opponent, okay. as your combatant, and uh, he's an angel. Mm -hmm. He's much more intelligent than you are. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the possibility is great that you can be overwhelmed by the devil. Okay. So therefore, the, this, since everybody knows there's this day of great distress, we should prepare. Well, not everybody knows it. Oh. Precisely, that's why there's a liturgy that reminds okay, us fine. that this is going to take place and therefore we must be prepared for okay. it. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, but this preparation father is not being uh, proclaimable or disseminated by the church so that we will be prepared, we, lay people, to understand the whole thing. Well, the Catholic Church had been preparing us for this mm -hmm. since the beginning of Christianity. Mm -hmm. And the Catholic Church prepares us to the liturgy. Mm -hmm. And so we are reminded every year 
during the three cycles, A, B, C, that this day of great distress will occur. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, Holy Mother the Church is teaching us what to do to prepare for this day. That is the lesson we, we, we should do uh, because of this Sodom Gomorrah history and Noah's uh, history. Yeah, because now is the 32nd yeah. uh, weekday of the year. So, Holy Mother the Church is preparing us for this great day of distress and reminded us that it's going to be exactly like at the time of Noah and during the time of Lot. It's going to be exactly like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if you notice, during the time of Noah, that is the, during the Great Deluge, Mm -hmm. When God killed everybody, you know, to the great flood, these people were committing all sins, all sins. Mm -hmm. Because as St. James says, if you commit one sin, you commit all the sins. Mm -hmm. So they were committing all sins. But St. Thomas of Aquinas mentions the fact that there is what you call a predominant sin. What do you mean by that, Father? The... Mm -hmm. There are many sins, but you know, sort of the head, oh, I see. like the head of the snake, you the mean, predominant sin. The, you mean the predominant sin of man, God, is that lack of faith or not willing to do God's will? <clears throat> well, the predominant sin is what causes all the other sins. Yes. And during the time of Noah, the predominant sin was violence. Which is happening today. People yes. were violent, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we have the example of Lot. And during the time of Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah, everybody is committing all the sins, as usual, all the sins. Because when you commit one sin, you commit all the mm -hmm. sins. Mm -hmm. But the predominant sin during the time of Lot was sodomy. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's terrible for that. Well, sodomy is like homosexuality, lesbianism, yes. Incense, uh, incest, uh, pedophilia, all those things are the uh, mm -hmm. predominant sins. So the predominant sin during the time of Noah was violence. And we have violence all over the world right now. Yes, but The wars that are occurring all over the world, sadly, started by formerly Christian nations. They, like the United States and the NATO forces, these are the ones who are causing all the violence in the world. And there is, of course, the uh, sin of Sodom and Gomorrah, sodomy, which is now in the headlines, yes. especially in the United States. But we have been warned that this sin of sodomy is all over the world. It, is, it can be found in all the bishops' conferences all over the world. And so we are being warned that um, your own bishops could be guilty of this, and therefore we must be very watchful. Mm -hmm. Definitely, Father. And the warning is that what's happening now is that there is so much sodomy, but the bishops are concealing and trying to cover it up. And not only mm -hmm. that, they're supporting the sin of sodomy. They're uh, giving them privileges and protecting them and hiding them and, and so on. Instead of curing them, which is something very bad. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to cure sins, not uh, tolerate them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Now the liturgy tells us what's going on. Mm -hmm. So the liturgy of Wednesday on the 32nd, weekday of the year tells us that the day of great distress is occurring, is happening right now. Mm -hmm. This day of great distress is in such a way that people cannot know how to go to heaven. People do not know how to go to heaven. Why, Father? There are a lot of uh, priests who can tell us the process of going to heaven, but uh, we fail to, to understand it. Precisely because those who are supposed to teach us how to go to heaven do not know how to go to heaven. My God. That's why it's a day of great distress. Yes, yes, yeah. mm -hmm. It's still possible to know how to go to heaven. 
but you go you have to go directly to the sources which is sacred scriptures and the fathers of the church mm -hmm. but to expect those people who are assigned to teach us you should not expect anything from them and not only that if there is one or two who are teaching properly the way to go to heaven they're being suppressed suppress by the church to make matters worse. You mentioned about reading the Bible. Do you mean to say that if we people, lay people, read the Bible, is it automatically will be saved and mm -hmm. go to heaven? No, because first you have to read the Bible, and secondly you have to understand yes. what you read, which is impossible without the help of grace from God. And thirdly, you have to put it into practice, which needs more graces. Mm -hmm. And people do not know how to get these graces from God. It has to come from God. No? So let's go to the solution mm -hmm. yes, to this violence and to this prevailing sodomy that is uh, all over the Catholic Church today. If you look at Noah, what did Noah do during his time? He got his family. Yeah, put them in the ark. He built an ark, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they all entered the ark yes. and waited inside. Mm -hmm. they kept everybody away, right? You closed they the ark. kept them away from the source of sin, yes. from the world. Yes. So they left the world and entered the ark and stayed there. And it says that even God was the one who closed the door. What is the significance or what does it signify, the ark that Noah enters? The ark of Noah signifies the Catholic Church. It is a type of the Catholic Church. Yes. And the warning is this, that there will be a time that the door of the Catholic Church, the ark of the covenant, will be closed by God so those who are outside can no longer enter. Mm. That's very clear mm -hmm. in scriptures. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's prophetic in a way, right? That it it is. will happen now. I mean, that's what God is teaching us in the Old in that, Testament. In that, yes, yes, that I understand. That is going to happen. And so the, the Catholic Church itself will just, it, either you're in and then it's closed and you can't get in anymore. Yeah, that there is a time it's going to be closed by God and nobody can enter. And nobody could mm -hmm. enter during the time of Noah the moment it was closed. That's why it's a day of great distress yeah. because we don't know whether the door is already closed. We should be in before that. How do we know that uh, the door can be opened again? <laughs> uh, no, it cannot be opened <laughs> again no more, no? I don't no, think it was opened in Noah's ark. Open the moment Noah's it was closed, it's finished, <laughs> it, no. It's over. No? Oh. Meaning, if, if a certain person, a sinner, would like to be converted, and like to enter the Catholic Church. He don't, can't, he can't no longer. don't wait to the last minute. The, the door is point, closed, yeah, right, the Father? Is, uh, you know, conversion takes time. If you don't do it early enough, you cannot be converted. Oh, so see. just in case you run out of time, then you just run out of time. The door is closed. Now, if you go to the story of Lot, the same thing happened. But Lot had to leave Sodom and Gomorrah with his family mm. and to go to a very special place which God showed him. Yes. So you have to, to go leave. to a place where God tells you. Mm -hmm. And the early Christians had always interpreted this as uh, the monastic life. It's not a place, it's not a it's castle a or a, a monastery. Or what. It's a monastic way. life, it's a way, way of, of life. life. Mm -hmm. And this is Noah's Ark. This is the Catholic Church. It is the place where Lot went. He went together with Abraham and so on like that. Mm -hmm. Father, we have only one minute. So there we have the two sins prevailing during this time. That the liturgy of the Mass reminded us would occur in these days. The scene of violence, which is very common these days and the scene of sodomy and we have it right now all over the world and within the Catholic Church 
And so we are sure and we can surely say we have arrived at that day of great distress. Thank you for explaining, Father. Thank, thank you very much for watching Dialogues with Father Don De Gastro. Please continue watching so that we will learn something that will save us, something that will give, will give us peace of mind and eventually enter the Ark of Noah. Thank you very much. Oh, sana, oh, sana.